All right, hello, welcome to this special FIFA 20 scenario challenge series. So in this, I'm going to be coming up with different uh, scenarios or challenges just to see what happens or to challenge myself by doing something different in a game. This won't be exclusive to FIFA. Like um, I could do, example, something like Dark Souls where I only use the starting weapon that you get given right at the beginning of the game and I have to use that for the entire length of the game. Or I could do something where I use a team, maybe Northampton, and put them in the Premier League with the current squad and have to go through the entire game with just those players without any transfers. So I'd love for you to give me some suggestions of what you'd like to see me do for this. Uh, please drop me in the comments if you have any cool ideas, scenarios or, or challenges. So for this challenge I've moved Messi to the current worst team in the Football League, which is Stevenage. They're rock bottom of League 2 with just 22 points, having won only three of their games. So in this scenario, I'm seeing if one of the greatest of all time can turn Stevenage into champions or even just winners. And so that is the challenge today, is Lionel Messi at Stevenage. And so here is the team I'm going to be using. It's going to be Paul Farman, Luther James Wilden, Ben Nugent, Scott Cuthbert, Tyler Denton, Ben Kennedy, Joel Byram, Charlie Larkin, Joel Leesley, Paul Taylor and Lionel Messi up front. Here is the bench I'm going to be using as well. You can see there's a few extras in the reserves that I'm not really going to be using. And so, we're joining us to our first game which is away at Salford. Messi up top there as you can see. We win 5-1 thanks to Cuthbert, 2 from Larkin, 1 from Taylor, and Messi does get a goal on his debut. Nice to see. Moving forward now to Exeter. We win 2-1 with Larkin and Taylor getting the goals, nothing for Messi in that one. First game in the Caraval Cup as we play Hull City. We draw 1-1 but win on penalties 5-4, Taylor with our goal. We get through to the next round of the cup. Returning to the league now, we play Leighton Orient. We win 2 0 thanks to two goals from Taylor. Moving on now, we play Bradford again in the league. Taylor again scores in a 1 0 victory. Messi needs to catch up to Taylor here. We now play Mansfield. Winning 3 1, 2 for Perrette and 1 for Messi there. Messi also missed a penalty. Okay, another Carabao Cup game as we travel to Blackburn Rovers. We draw 1-1 thanks to Leesley's goal, but win 4-3 on pens. Now to the League 2 again, we play Macclesfield at home. We win 2-0 thanks to Luckin and Perrette. Again, Messi doesn't score though. Now we go to Cheltenham. Messi needs to start picking up some goals here. We win 2 0 and two goals for uh, Peretz or Parrots again. Uh, James Wilden going off injured as well, though. So he doesn't play this game as we play Carlisle. 2 0 it is Peretz and Taylor with the goals again. Messi falling behind two midfielders. We now play Northampton at town, of course, my local team. We win 2 1 thanks to Byram and Taylor. Once again, Messi not on the score sheet. We now travel to Forest Green Rovers. We win 4 1 thanks to two goals from the left back Denton. One for Taylor and Messi scores at last. Carabao Cup now we travel to Preston at North End. Championship side, of course. We win 2 1. Nugent and Byram with the goals this time. Through to the next round of the Cup. Returning to the league now, we play Cambridge. Lacking scores, it ends 1-1. Messi doesn't get on the score sheet again. Okay, we now travel to Colchester, who are currently third in the league. We lose 2-1, Lacking getting our goal, but Clampett and Courtney Senior, the players, to knock us down there. Messi fails to find the net again. Okay, we now travel to Macclesfield in the leasing.com trophy. We win 4 0, 2 for the left back Denton, 1 for Taylor, and Messi does get a goal this time. Grimsby now. Uh, Messi is away on international duty, so he's going to miss this game. 
but uh, we draw 1-1. His replacement, Newton, does score, but it is not a win. Messi returns now for this trip to Port Vale. Win 3-0. Kennedy, Leesley and Messi on the score sheet. Thank you, Messi, for actually scoring. We now travel to Swindon, who are second place and very close behind us. We win 4-2. Lucky in with two. Taylor and Messi with our goals. Weird game, that, but Messi at least does get a goal there. We now play Morecambe. 2-0, Taylor and Messi. That's what we want to see, a Taylor and Messi combo. Now, toughest game we're going to play so far. We travel to Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. We lose 3-1. It's a brace for Pepe, one for Saka, but Messi does get our goal at least. Returning to the league now, we play Scunthorpe. 3-0, Denton, Taylor and Perrette with the goals. Taylor going off injured though, unfortunately. Now we play Crawley in the FA Cup as well. Messi gets two and Byron and Kennedy pick up the others. Nice to see Messi finally getting a bit more consistency in his scoring. Shrewsbury now on the Leasing.com trophy. We drew 1-1 thanks to Lackin. Win 4-3 on pens, but Byron goes off injured. Returning to the league, we play Oldham. Messi is wearing his national duty again, so Newton substitutes for him. We win 1-0 thanks to Lackin. Brilliant midfield that he has been for us so far. Clean sheet as well there. Messi returns for this game as we travel to Walsall. 3-1 Lackin, Perret and Messi does get a goal in there. We now play Crawley. 4-0, it's Nugent, Luckin, Perret and Lionel Messi does get on the score sheet that time as well. We travel to Leighton Orient in the FA Cup now. We win 5-0, 2 for Luckin, 1 Kennedy, 1 Perret and Messi gets a goal as well. He scores the first goal and, well, he's technically the winner. Now it's the Leasing.com Trophy semi-final here against Rotherham. We draw 1-1 one, one, and lose 4-3 on pens. Kennedy gets our goal, but it's not enough. Messi misses a late pen as well. Shame, but we're out of that one. Newport is up now. We win 5-0. James Wilden, Byram, Perret with two, and Soros with one as well, but none for Messi in a 5-0 win. Crew now. Messi really needs to start racking up some goals. 2-0, Denton and Lackin. Kennedy going off injured, though, in that game. Forest Green Rovers now on Boxing Day. 1-0 victory, and it is Messi that gets the goal. That's the kind of stuff we want to see from Lionel Messi. We now travel to Plymouth. We lose 1-0. Telford scores. Messi plays 90 minutes, but cannot find the back of the net. And now, as we're halfway through the season, we enter January. Before we play the second game against the Cobblers, we'll check on the league table. 24 win, uh, sorry, 24 games, 20 wins, 2 draws, uh, 2 defeats. 56 scored, 13 conceded, 43 goal difference, 62 points. 6 points ahead of Swindon. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, disappointed with the 2 defeats that we've had. Especially, the, I think Messi should be doing better here. Well, let's have a look. Lacking is top scorer with 12 and 24. Taylor and Perret both have 11. And Messi's all the way down in 12th place with 9 in 22 games. Very, very disappointing there. Well, he's clearly having an effect on the team as a whole, but I thought he'd be more directly involved in a lot more goals. Uh, Assists-wise, he is joint top with Byram. But Byram's got one more assist than him. Uh, sorry, the same amount of assists in one less game. Not good for Messi, quite disappointing. Let's have a look at his uh, overall stats in a second. But we see Paul Farman there has 13 clean sheets in 24 games, which is brilliant stuff from him. Now, quite a few clean sheets. And now we'll have a quick look at Messi's stats here. 31 played, 14 goals, 11 assists, 14 clean sheets, and a 7.6 overall. It's not great, is it? I'm not mad, am I? It's not particularly good for Messi, especially in League 2. Like he's definitely dragging the team around him and playing really well, but yeah, I mean, I expected his numbers to be a lot, lot higher. But we'll see how the rest of the season goes with him as number one. Okay, here we play the Northampton game then. 
We win 3 0. It's Byron, Lackian, and Perret with the goals. Messi plays 90 minutes and doesn't score once again. Disappointing for Messi. Okay, another tough game as we play Watford in the FA Cup third round. Travel to Watford as well. We lose 2 1 with Saar and Pasetta getting the goals. Lackian getting our one. We now play Port Vale, who haven't won in three. We win 3 0. It's Byron, Lacken, and Taylor. Again, Messi doesn't score. Very disappointing. Okay, we now play Cambridge. Messi's got to get a goal somewhere in this. Wins 4 0. A hat trick for Lacken and one for Messi. At least he has got a goal, but uh, midfielder getting a hat trick while Messi can't even get close to him. Colchester now, who are still in third place and doing quite well. We win 2 0. No, it's James Wilden and Messi with the goals. Messi also missed a penalty before scoring. Plymouth now. Plymouth as well have not won in their last three games. All 4 0. Nugent Luckin and a brace for Messi. Nice. That's what we want to see. Better from him. Okay, Grimsby. Who have won two of their last three. 2 1 win. James Wilden and Lackin with the goals. Messi again plays 90 minutes without a score. Playing Leighton Orient now in the league. Can Messi get something on this? They haven't won in three either. It's 5 1. James Wilden, two for Byram. Perret and Messi does get a goal. We now play Exeter. 1-0, Byron Messi misses a penalty as well early on in the game. On to Bradford now. Can Messi get some goals in this game? More than one would be great. It's one for Lackin and a two, a brace for Messi. 3-0 victory at Bradford. We now play Salford City. And we win 1-0 thanks to Perret. Messi doesn't score again. We now play Crawley. And we draw 0-0. Very poor result. Messi could not bring the team forward. We get subbed off as well. Play Walsall now. Who are in decent form. Win 3-0. Cuthbert, Perret and Messi on the score sheet there. With a nice 3-0 victory. We now play Crewe. Win 5 on Lackin, scores 1. It's a hat trick for Perret and 1 for Messi in there as well. I want Messi to be doing a bit more, still. Okay, now we play Newport, who are in a bad run of form. 4 1, Denton, Lackin, Kennedy, and Messi with the goals. Messi's finally picking up goals more and more. Now we play second place, Swindon. And they win 2-0. Oh my lord, they've won 2-0. Messi doesn't score. Okay, now we play Morecambe as the season is coming ever closer to an end. 3-1, it's Kennedy, Messi and Digby with the goals. Messi scores a penalty though. Now he plays Gunthorpe. Elliot List is in for Messi who's on international duty again. Hopefully... Elliot List can substitute him for him very well. We win 3 1. Lacking Perret and Elliot List with the goals. Kevin Van Veen pulls one for Scunthorpe as well. Messi has returned as we play Oldham. We win 4 0. Lacking Leesley and a brace for Messi on his return. That's really good. What we want to see. Messi is tightening up a few more now. Okay, we play Mansfield now. James Wilden and Denton, the two fullbacks combined for a 2 1 victory. We now travel to Macclesfield. Should be a few goals in this for Messi, hopefully. And we somehow lose 1 0 with Wilson scoring the goal. And Messi plays 90 minutes. Okay, now we play Cheltenham. Win 2 0, Taylor and Messi, that partnership is back and up and running again. 
Now we play at Carlisle, which is our final game. Can Messi pad his goals a little bit more? When 5-1, it's James Wilden, Byram, Sanupe, and a brace for Kennedy. Messi on the final day does not get a goal. So let's have a look at how the final standings are. Okay, the league here, you can see that we have won the league very comfortably by 28 points over Swindon Town. 46 games, 39 wins, 3 draws, 7 defeats, 115 goals scored, 24 conceded, 91 goal difference and the 28 point gap between us and Swindon. That is what you would expect from Messi being put into this team really, but I, I think that he definitely should have scored more, but let's have a look at what the actual statistics have to say about that. Okay, Lacking finishes top with 24 goals, Messi second with 23, Perret is up there with 19 as well. Mm. He should do more, shouldn't he? In League 2, Messi only getting 23 goals is not great. He does get 16 assists, though, and that is top of the table with Byron with 11 behind him. Yeah, Messi, not incredible in League 2, but he did definitely drag this team up. You can see Farman there with 25 clean sheets and 46 matches, which is 14 more than any other goalkeeper, which is incredible. Okay, and here is his final stats. It's 53 appearances, 28 goals, 20 assists, 27 clean sheets, and a 7.7. .7. So, yeah, 48 goal contributions in 53 appearances is pretty good, but it's it'd be pretty good in, in a top flight, not in League 2 for arguably the best player in the world, one of the greatest of all time. He should do more, I think, but he definitely turned Stevenage into a winning side. That can't be denied. But uh, I expected more from him over the course of the season. And with that, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching this different kind of episode. Um, please leave suggestions in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.